At least 15 people have been killed after a security point came under attack north of Iraq's capital, Baghdad. Government forces are trying to contain jihadists, gaining ground in the country and in neighbouring Syria. And with thousands of the militant fighters recruited in Western countries, security is being tightened in Europe and America in fear they will bring their terror skills home. Alexei Yaroshevsky investigates. As ISIS continues its bloody rampage in Iraq, a quick look at the social media reveals that people from the West are more involved than you would imagine. A man claiming to be Nasser Muthan, a 20-year-old British national, posted a photo of what seems to be 15 homemade bombs. It was accompanied by a tweet, so the UK is afraid I'll come back with the skills I have gained. The same man appears in a video with several others calling on brothers in the West to join their cause. We have brothers from Bangladesh, from Iraq, from Cambodia, Australia, UK. We, nothing has gathered us except to make Allah Azzawajal's word the highest. All my brothers living in the West, I know how you feel when I used to live there. In the heart, you feel depressed. It reaches out to sisters too. In the United States, in April, a 19-year-old nurse was detained at Denver International Airport. She was allegedly on her way to Syria to marry an ISIS fighter and join the extremist organization to, as reported, assist them in any manner. Her Facebook page suggested that her profession was a slave of Allah. This latest recruitment in Western countries, experts say, is unprecedented. German intelligence claimed that more than 2,000 Europeans have joined the jihad in Syria and Iraq, including at least 320 Germans. American reporter Richard Engel, who was kidnapped and released in Syria two years ago, says that up to 70 Americans are also involved. And with jihadists openly saying they could bring their terror skills home, Europe and the United States have reason to be on high alert. A recent shooting at the Brussels Jewish Museum is an ample example of jihad may be on its way to Europe. Investigators claim the gunman joined ISIS in January. And the recent tightening of security for U.S. bound flights suggests Washington is becoming aware that ISIS terrorism is no longer a story from somewhere overseas. It is real and could soon be leaving trails of destruction in its own backyard. Well, Iraq's government has launched several air raids against these Sunni insurgents trying to recapture the country's largest oil refinery near the city of Baiji here. Uh, the group has also seized control of another lucrative oil fields across Iraq's border in Syria. And as the jihadists take hold of more reserves, fears grow that more external support will flow into their hands. We should not rule out the possibility that these religious extremists can get this oil to the market and receive funding in return. ISIS is very well funded. They were able to loot a bank and apparently ran away with tens of millions of dollars. For this recent advance they made in Iraq, in neighboring Syria, they were in a de facto alliance with the United States of America and its North Atlantic allies against the domestic base regime of President al-Assad. And that, too, not only brought them recognition and influence, it, too, brought them a certain amount of funding. 